limit of a sequence. So let me start from a very basic example. Here what we are trying to do is we are trying to show you a repeating pattern and we want to find a number which, we, which could represent it, right? Question number one here is, what is the appropriate limit of the given sequence? Sequence A is 0 0.7, 0 0.77, 0 0.777, 0 0.7777 and so on. In general, we can write this as 0 0.7 recurring. So this bar on the top says that 7 repeats, 7 recurring. So 0 0.7 recurring is like 0 0.7777 and so on. Right? Similarly, the sequence B for us is 0 0.3, 0 0.33 and so on. So that could be written as 0 0.3 recurring. Correct? Now part A of our proof of finding limit is basically to convert this sequence into a fraction. So that is what we'll try to do first, right? So let us say that this fraction y is equals to 0 0.7777 like this, right? Let us say this is this uh, and so on. Now what is 10 times y? So 10 times y will be equals to 7.7777 and so on, correct? How about if we take away y from 10y, right? Then what do we get? That means 10y minus y equals to 7.7777, so on. Take away uh, 0 0.777, so on, correct? So what do we get? We get just the number 7, do you see that? So we get 7 equals to 10 minus 1y is 9y. So 9y equals to 7. So what is y equals to? So we get y equals to 7 over 9. So that is the value which represents this 0 0.7 recurring, correct? So we get 0 0.7 recurring is actually equals to 7 over 9, right? This is how we started, that y is equal to 0 0.7777 recurring, right? So we get that. So now we can say, that the limit of this sequence is 7 over 9. So we can say limit is 7 over 9, right? So that is what the limit of the sequence is. Well, this is a very good example of converting the decimal recurring numbers into fractions. So I like my students to understand and apply this wherever needed, okay? And second, Follow the same process, multiplying by 10 and then subtracting from the original. You can get rid of the recurring part and then find the equivalent fraction and write it like a fraction. So these numbers are rational numbers. They can be written as a fraction, right? Part B, I'd like you to do as a practice question, okay? Thank you and all the best.